If I'm being honest, this has been like the worst week ever. Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 212, and I've got to tell you, this has just been a really, really bad week. Let me give you an understanding of what's actually been going on. So, you guys probably are aware that I was away on a speaking trip in Australia a couple weeks ago. Well, you know, when I go out of town, I usually create a bunch of video content and then I submit it to my editor and I'm like, hey, you know, here's a bunch of stuff I pre-recorded. If you could get all that editing done while I'm out of country, that makes it a lot easier for me. I just have to review some videos while I'm gone and that ends up being a pretty good situation. So, uh, you know, I upload all these videos. I mean, I'm talking, you know, probably had four podcasts recorded, about four or five different structured videos that I do, about three or four vlogs that I do, and uh, got them all sent off. And I'm like, great, I'm in really good position to be able to leave the country for 10 days and not really have to worry about getting my content out on time. And so as I'm away, you know, uh, some things were getting done. I was super happy, you know, everything was going smoothly. And then, you know, as the, the kind of the week went on of me being out of town and I was on like my vacation portion of this in the Adelaide Hills, which was gorgeous, um, ended up, you know, noticing that uh, some of the projects aren't coming along as smoothly or as quickly as I would want them to. And then when I, you know, get back home, which was on like Wednesday, the, I don't know what day it was, but it was Wednesday, like last week, end up getting back at like midnight back home. And, you know, on, on Thursday, I'm like, great, I can get back to doing some content, getting stuff, you know, uh, submitted to the editor for her to continue to work on things. And I started to notice that why is none of the editing actually getting done? Uh, the, the last piece of content that was edited at that point was from you know several days before I got home and nothing had happened since, which is super out of character for my editor. And I ended up you know uh, reaching out a couple times, shooting emails. We have a patient management or patient we have a uh, content management system called Trello to where we have like each video has its own little card and people can leave comments and shift it into different you know um, essentially lists that say, hey, this video is uploaded or it's ready for first review or it's ready to publish, whatever the case may be. And the last activity was on the 25th and we're probably on the 28th, 29th or even 30th at this point and nothing had essentially been done. And it got to Saturday, and as you guys know, I typically post my vlogs on Sunday, but it's Saturday like noon, and I had not received a rough draft back of my vlog. And usually the vlogs get edited super quickly and there's not a whole lot of revisions to them because it's just me kind of like talking off script on camera, right? But I noticed that they weren't getting done and I noticed that the messages that I was sending to my editor were not being responded to. And then I was like, okay, when is the last time that my editor actually went into Trello or went into frame to pull the content and start working on it? It was like a week before and I'm like, holy crap. Um, I think something bad happened to my editor. <laughs> so ended up sending some messages like, hey, I hope you're okay. I hope nothing bad happened. If you need help, let me know. Like, you know, whatever I can do, I'm happy to help. Um, you know, honestly, uh, about a month before that, as we're working to get uh, an additional project done, I reached out. I'm like, hey, listen, just want to see if I'm overloading you with stuff. You know, let me know if we are, because I can actually try to find another editor to, to help you out temporarily with some of these projects, these video projects that we're working on. And she's like, no, no, no. Like, I'm super excited for this project. I really like it. Um, I want to stay with it. And I'm like, great. So you just keep plugging away just as a heads up. We want to be able to release this new project on the 1st of March. And, you know, I ended up in that same week. I'm kind of like, as we're about to launch this new, uh, these new channels, which I'll tell you about next week. Um, we, uh, I noticed that like the content wasn't completed and you know I had trusted her to like get everything done and here, there's about half of it's done on these new channels and um, uh, honestly I was like what the heck is going on uh, anyway back to the moment in time I'm reaching out I'm like hey like is something wrong like can we help you out with anything we've got a couple deadlines that are like immediate that we need to be able to hit 
and she still didn't respond. So then I had to, for last week's vlog, I actually had to go in and do the editing myself. And it had been, I don't know, months since I've had to edit a video myself because for the past year plus, uh, she's, my editor's been very responsive and very good with getting projects done. You know, sometimes there's little delays, but like things happen, I get it. Um, we even gave her a raise uh, when she requested it, you know, at the end of last year. And so I thought everything was going super, super smooth. And then all of a sudden, radio silence. And honestly, there's a part of me that's worried that she's not okay and that I, you know, would like to help and, and all that. But, um, you know, part of me is kind of like, did we just get completely ghosted on this? And um, the thing is, is that we had already prepaid for editing in the month of March. And on top of that, what we had paid for in February, a good chunk of that uh, content that I uploaded didn't didn't get edited. It never got edited. And, you know, so it's like, man, like, did we just get ripped off? Did we get taken advantage of? And honestly, like, that's not even the worst part because you can dispute credit card transactions. So like if you end up paying for something and you never receive the goods, like you can dispute that and typically the credit card company will give you your money back. And I'm not even really worried about that. The stressful thing of all of this is, is that I don't have another editor. Pretty much all of our eggs were in one basket. And if I'm being honest, that's probably more of my fault than anything else. Um, I was thinking about that about six months ago. I'm like, you know what? If something were to unfortunately happen to my editor and she were to get ill um, or, you know, uh, something, I don't know, living in a abroad where they don't have electricity or something like that, or if electrical grid goes down or if internet goes down, then I'm kind of screwed because I don't have anyone else to edit my content. And sure enough, I probably invited that. Um, I believe that, you know, the things that you think about are the things that happen. So, you know, part of that might be on me for kind of like believing that into existence. I'm not super big on that, but, you know, when you're looking for reasons for why things happen it, you and you can't think of a legitimate reason, your mind takes you into different directions. So here I am in a position where I do not have an editor right now. And we um, have, you know, uh, regularly scheduled times that we like to put out videos. Uh, Rachel's videos go out on Mondays, my videos go out on Tuesdays and Fridays, and then the vlog goes out on Sundays, and then the podcast that we do will either go out every other or every third Wednesday or Thursday. So um, and my shorts are actually being done by my content manager, uh, Dr. Brad Stewart. So like that has all been going okay, but none of the other content is getting done at this point. And so um, honestly, I have uh, agreed to a contract. I essentially, anytime I need a new editor, I go on Upwork and I reach out to, or I just post like, this is what I need. And then people come on and they give you bids for like what they could do and what they could do it for. And then I usually run several editors through, um, you know, a piece of content that they have to edit so I can see what their editing style is. And I think that I landed on a good editor here. I actually have a meeting with him here in a couple of hours. Um, I've already paid for, the month of March with him to do my editing. So hopefully we get back on track here. But it is, it's a, it, essentially it's starting over because this individual that I'm working with is actually ironically from Australia, which is really cool because I just got back from Australia and I love Australia. The time zone is crazy. It's like an 18 hour difference between their time zone and our time zone. Essentially, he's living in the future 18 hours. And so like, being able to correspond back and forth can only happen certain times of the day. Uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, the point being is that I have a lot of training of this individual to do so he understands the way that I like things. And so he starts to understand the hearing aid industry. One of the great thing was after working with an editor for over a year is that she really started to understand the different aspects of hearing aid technology um, in the different brands and the different like audiograms and stuff like that. So I could submit a video to her and she'd just be like, oh, like I need to put in a high frequency sensory neural hearing loss as an overlay here. Or, oh, you're talking about Oticon. I should probably put up the new Oticon Intent hearing aid overlay when you're talking about it. Like all of that stuff would be really, really seamless. And the amount of, of corrections that I needed to make on the edit reviews were very minimal. So here we are starting from scratch again. Uh, there's a part of me that kind of wants to get multiple editors editing stuff for us, but 
you know, there's only so much content to go around. And if you want to have an editor that's pretty much dedicated to you, um, you need to give them enough work for them to justify not doing other projects. Essentially, it's like everybody's putting all their eggs in one basket and we don't really have enough content that we do to justify like two full-time editors. Um, but it's just kind of weird when you start getting into like two part-time editors that aren't giving you their full, you know, attention on getting the edits done. So um, we're going to see if we can, you know, go with an editor and maybe um, keep a couple of editors on standby, maybe feeding them a couple projects every month um, just to kind of, uh, you know, get them familiar with us. So just in case one of our editor leaves, we have another editor that we can plug in. But I essentially told the editors that were applying for this that I'm like, listen, I'm a little bit like, you know, hurt <laughs> in a way that our other editor just kind of up and left or something happened to where we're basically screwed uh, for a couple weeks. And, you know, I've not been able to put as much time into the content creation here over the course of the last two weeks because I've been spending almost all of my time trying to find an editor and communicating back and forth and scheduling reviews and stuff like that. Um, but I'm hoping that we have a good one at this point. I feel pretty good uh, about offering this particular editor. So you guys will see how it goes. I'm gonna have to edit this vlog. So if you didn't like it, uh, that's because of me 100%. Um, but if you did like it, do me a huge favor, and I really need it this week. If you could give me a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that subscription because I have a feeling that these videos are gonna get even better because I think that this new editor might actually be better than my old editor. So, so thank you guys so much for tuning in this week, and as always, I will see you next week.